I believe one of the great players in the league right now that gets overlooked is Paul Goldschmidt and people take what he has done for granted. I truly believe that he will be a Hall of Famer in the future and also I think he could have the better Hall of Fame resume than Joey Votto. Sit back and relax because I'm going to explain why Paul Goldschmidt is going to be a Hall of Famer and also show how he stacks up against Hall of Famers right now at first base. Depending on when you watch this video, his career numbers might be a slight slightly bit different. Nonetheless, it'll be pretty close in the grand scheme of things because we're going to look at how his career is going to shape up. Right now, he has a 296 average, a 918 OPS, 144 OPS plus, 1,662 hits, 299 home runs, and a 54.6 B war. Let's take a look at his value through the lens of war. Currently, he is 34 years old. By the end of the season, he'll be 35 years old. I think he's having a great season right now. One of the front runners of NL MVP. Because of this, I'm going to guess that he's going to end right at 57, 58 war. And I'm going to assume that he has two more four to five war seasons. I think that's pretty realistic as long as there's no drastic decline in the next two years. Plus one to two war for every year he plays after that, assuming there's a decline and he's exiting his prime. When we make these assumptions and he plays to age 39, that means he's going to end up with about a 67 to 70 war. For reference, the average first base Hall of Famer career war is 65.6 war. Another stat we'll look at war seven is the sum of the seven best seasons when it comes to war and adding them up. And these seasons don't have to be consecutive. It's a great way to look at a player's best seasons in a quick snapshot. The average first base Hall of Famer has a 42.1 war seven and Paul Goldschmidt's is currently a 42.2, meaning he has the average first base Hall of Famer war seven and he is currently playing one of his best seasons right now. For Goldschmidt going forward, a season where he has a war of five or higher will increase his war seven total. And a stat that is used when comparing Hall of Famers at a certain position is called Jaws. It is a combination of career and seven year peak war. The average first base Hall of Famer is 53.8 Jaws and Paul Goldschmidt 48.4. Obviously by the time his career over this number should be higher. Even now his Jaws is higher than recent inductee David Ortiz. We'll do a quick recap of Paul Goldschmidt versus the average first base Hall of Famer. The average first base Hall of Famer has a 65.5 career war, a 42.1 war seven, and a 53.8 jaws. Compared to Paul Goldschmidt, who has a 54.6 career war, 42.2 war seven, and a 48.4 jaws. So even if Paul Goldschmidt's career ended right now, value-wise, according to war, he's competing with some Hall of Famers. Next, we want to take a look at the counting numbers, because when we're talking about making the Hall of Fame, there's all sorts of milestones that people want to see you achieve whether it's 3,000 hits 500 home runs you know if you're doing both of those you're gonna be a slam dunk first ballot Hall of Famer like I said earlier he has a little over 1,600 hits and almost 300 career home runs over his career Goldie has averaged about 175 hits and 31 home runs per 162 games played let's just say he gets 160 hits plus 30 home runs for the next two seasons without decline because it seems like he is still in his prime this means after this season and two more seasons played he will easily hit the 2000 hit threshold and he'll also have 350 plus career home runs and this is a game of more the merrier so the more career total counting stats you know hits home runs rbis etc whatever it may be the more he has the better his case becomes realistically i could see him having 2300 hits and 375 plus career home runs if he reaches those milestones and the more hits and home runs he tallies it's going to make his case for being in the Hall of Fame that much better. The part about Paul Goldschmidt that excites me the most is that he is the complete package. He's just not a slugger. He is also one of the best defensive first basemen we've seen. He's a four-time gold glove winner at first base, and that is more than any Hall of Famer at first base. Obviously, first base and Hall of Famers, defense doesn't go hand in hand. Like, guys don't get in the Hall of Fame because they were outstanding defenders and couldn't hit, especially the ones in recent years. But this could be one of those things you could point to, and it's just a nice cherry on top of the resume. And it could be one of those things where he's very similar 
to a Hall of Famer on the ballot that didn't get in in previous years, but because of his defense and how outstanding he's been, he could get the nod because of that. His longevity and his time on the field is a reason why he's been so good. He is literally playing out there every day like he's a guy that rarely takes days off and as he gets older he's obviously going to take some days off but so far throughout his career in the 9 out of 12 seasons take away his rookie year which he played 48 games 58 games from the COVID season but that's basically a whole COVID season I believe is a 60 game season and 70 games from this season that is still currently ongoing uh, over the nine years of full seasons he's averaging 151 games per season over that nine year stretch so you're talking about a guy that's only gonna miss 11 games out of the whole year for their nine years of full seasons played that is remarkable and there's only one season where he played under 145 games and that was in 2014 when he played in 109. If he played more games in that 2014 season, his average would be even higher. It's not just that Paul Goldschmidt has good war season. He also gets some MVP votes as well. He has been top five in MVP voting three times, two of the times being in second place. If he somehow was able to win MVP those two years he came in second, and wins this year, he'd be a three-time MVP. I think that would definitely change the narrative on Paul Goldschmidt if he was able to do that. Being second place in MVP voting is phenomenal, no matter how you spin it. And then also, he's been top 10 MVP voting five times. And he's one of the MVP front runners right now in the National League as of July. Hopefully, he can finish this season strong. We're almost at the midway point, if not past the midway point, depending on when you're watching this video. This leads me to my next and final point of the video is that what would it take for him to be a slam dunk hall of fame candidate to winning mvp in my opinion if you look at it, if he wins mvp when it comes to mvp share and voting throughout their careers he's gonna match up exactly with joey Votto, having one mvp and then also i believe three times top five and then about five times in the top 10 throughout their careers i think the public perception is that joey Votto is pretty much going to be a hall of famer in the future i don't know if i'd say first ballot and i don't know if i'd say the same with paul goldschmidt being a first ballot hall of famer being a first ballot hall of famer is a very special thing to accomplish miguel cabrera albert pujols those are the guys that are going to be first ballot hall of famers however like i said at the beginning of the video i think paul goldschmidt joey Votto, and todd helton's careers are all pretty similar when you look at the numbers if he doesn't decline rapidly over the next couple of years i think paul goldschmidt will have the better hall of fame resume than joey Votto and todd helton who by the way i think both are going to be hall of famers let me know down in the comments what you think about paul goldschmidt i think he's one of those underrated gems criminally underrated throughout the years but finally this year he's really showing everyone what he can truly do and i hope that he wins mvp for the sake of his hall of fame case if you enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome baseball content coming your way with that being said thank you guys for watching the video i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video